What's up guys, Matt Tolbers. Today we are sleeping in the shed again. As you can see, I have green on because I'm kind of doing like a St. Patrick's Day theme because it's almost St. Patrick's Day. I have some green water, regular water with a couple drops of green dye in there just for fun. I also got a green monster. This is the Ultra Paradise. Pretty good, I'm almost done with it. So I got these little St. Patrick's Day cupcakes. I already ate one, pretty good. And then uh, I guess these are like chocolate covered Oreos. So I'm going to try one of those in a minute. We got our Happy Camper Cup. My wife uh, saw this at the dollar store. Got it for me. So it definitely feels cheap. I uh, work for tonight. Then I got a green candle. Uh, it's not really St. Patrick's Day style. Balsam and cedar. I know that's not very St. Patrick, but at least it's green. That's all I uh, saw there. So we got our candle going. It is 60 degrees in here right now, and it's not actually 34. This is always off. It's 28 degrees outside right now. It's snowing. We got two deviled eggs left. I ate two of them. I'm going to eat those here in a minute. I also have some uh, like Lucky Charms marshmallows. I got some green M&Ms in here, different kinds. Um, and some like green sprinkles in there. So I'm gonna be making some popcorn and slapping that on top of the popcorn. Gotta throw in the rainbow ones too. You know, the pot of gold and the rainbows. Got my Tober's Camping Water Cup just as a backup. See it's 61 now in here. Got my Folgers Coffee, Insta Coffee. Got my stuff to cook it. Got a spoon and fork. Got my burner, power station battery thing here. You can see I got the little green accents going. Just turn the heater down to medium. It says 62 in here, but it feels really hot by this thing. Not trying to eat too many snacks, but uh, I'm gonna have one more of these little muffins. That'll be number two. I'll save the rest for my family. Well, happy St. Patrick's Day, guys. Let's have some green water. That's like my little green hat. Another one of those little devilish eggs. I think that's what they're called, right? Devilish. I don't generally do much for like St. Patrick's Day at all. I'm trying to have a little fun. I like throwing a little theme in here. Right, I'm going to try one of these chocolate covered Oreo. Honestly, I have no clue because uh, Oreos are like pretty much chocolate. So it might be just like a thick chocolate on top of it. actually pretty good. I will say one of those is enough for me tonight, so I'll definitely be saving the other three. My daughter will probably eat them or something. And one of these little Oreo things, guys, just because I have a bunch of treats in here does not mean I'm eating them all. I have to get back in shape, though, because me and my buddy Joel are going to be doing some, like, boundary waters, like northern Minnesota. Like, you're out in the middle of nowhere. I just got back in the gym four days. Hopefully in another couple months, by, like, June or so, I should be in decent shape. This is the last deviled egg, though. These are good. See this little thing? Handy heater. It's one of those, like, as seen on TV things. 1,200 watts. It has, like, colors on it, as you can see. There's a green. Green. So I said, why not? Let me try this little thing. It puts out actually some decent heat. The color looks weird on my phone. It's actually like a, a regular green. It's just so bright that it's making it look really weird right now. Kind of a cool little contraption. It's got, see, you can switch the colors on it. You probably can't even try to look at the outside of the rim. You can kind of tell what color it is. Looking directly at it, it just looks super bright. I'm going to leave that run all night. I'm going to actually probably turn this off at night. I got a nice warm sleeping bag up there. So I did get another drone. For you guys that know, I did get my part 107. All I have is the mini two, but now this will be my second drone. It is a damaged drone. I got it from my buddy Joel that crashed it doing a crazy video. Now I just got to send it in to get fixed, but hopefully it's not too much. So as you can see, that one broke off, that like propeller. This one broke off battery did get scuffed up a little bit but i think it'll be okay so hopefully this is a cheap fix because this thing will actually track you so like i can be out doing camping videos and like have this track me from like different heights up high follow the van do all sorts of cool stuff hopefully we can get this one flying here pretty right, soon guys, it's time to make some popcorn be right back realize i was not recording basically i put all the stuff in here the sprinkles and all that stuff i'll be honest i thought it was gonna look cooler but like as i mix it around it seems like a lot of it sunk to the bottom so uh, at least i tried well it's actually kind of good i ain't gonna lie like a little bit of the sprinkles on top of the popcorn because you got like that salty butter Mixed with like a little bit of like sweetness, like a little bit of sugar. Obviously guys, this is just a random treat for this holiday because I do not normally eat popcorn with sprinkles and marshmallows and stuff, so don't judge, okay? I'm gonna be getting in shape soon. Here we go. 
It definitely tastes like Lucky Charms mixed with popcorn. Who wants some Lucky Charm popcorn? You can come over, you got about five minutes. Hope you guys are doing well. I know my channel's kind of all over the place. I do so much different types of camping. Sometimes you're just hanging out with me in the shed, watching me eat some Lucky Charm popcorn. Sometimes I'm cabin camping. Sometimes I'm in blizzard. Sometimes I'm in the rain. Sometimes I'm van camping. Sometimes I'm on top of a hill in the middle of the winter using a coyote call. Who knows what I'll be doing. If you like this type of stuff, subscribe, continue to do some funner things in the future, and hopefully improve my editing and hopefully get to know some of you guys. If you guys leave comments, I try to get back to all the comments. Let me know what you guys want to see. Let me know what you don't like in my videos. Let me know what, more of what you want to see. Okay, here's the ladder to get up to the loft. I don't have all the lights on. There's my lanterns right there. You can see I got my pillow, my cot. I got an extra light over there if I need to turn it on. And there's my green hoodie and my sleeping bag over there. And I actually just got these. Are these the Helinox like extensions that extend it like an extra foot off the ground. This is my cot that I use for backpacking. It's like lightweight. This is like one of the best lightweight cots you can get. It sits really low to the ground. So like if you're winter camping or something, especially if you don't have a bottom in your tent or something, you gotta like really get the snow out of the way. So this will actually raise it up like an extra foot. I've been waiting on these. So you can see that it just goes into the bottom, but I've been waiting on these for like ever. So they finally were in stock. I think I'll actually be able to sit on my cot now, like as a, a chair. So I won't have to bring my chair with it when I'm sitting inside of my tent, which would be sweet. Plus I'll be higher off the ground and maybe be able to store some stuff underneath it. Oh, it's windy out there. The door wants to fly open. Here's those little smokies. I got kind of a little pan, so hopefully this works. I was worried they were going to be a little hot, quite a bit of smoke, I don't know if you can see the smoke. Cold water, it just happens to be green. While the little smokies were good, now it's time to set up my bed. Bed is set up.
Morning guys, so I slept pretty good last night, having that energy drink late at night probably wasn't good. Got my candle lit for a little bit here, just relaxing, having my coffee. The sun's already melting uh, a lot of the ice and snow out there, I can see it dripping right now. Yum. Happy camper. Alright guys, well this was kind of like a little chillax video. I just kind of wanted to do a little bit of a St. Patrick's Day thing. My shed videos are kind of like my filler videos, even though sometimes they get quite a bit of views, which is pretty sweet. Hopefully you found some enjoyment in this video. I'm going to have tons more different types of camping stuff. As you can see, go look at my other videos. If you haven't checked out my past cabin camping ones, there was like a blizzard for like two and a half days. Go check that out. And if you watch this video to the end, put in the comments, green is like a code word, just to let me know you watched it so I know who my true subscribers are. I appreciate you guys. Videos will get better. I'll get better at editing and I'll niche down my channel a little bit more eventually. Right now I know I'm kind of all over the place. I've done so many different types of camping in a very short amount of time. So I know some subscribers are probably like, what the heck is this video going to be about? Or maybe you don't like that style of camping. I'm still finding out what I enjoy, um, what I like to do. Leave green in the comments if you watched it at the end, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!